We certainly do live in a highly stressful world, both for adults and children. More and more people are looking for ways to cope with days that drain them mentally and emotionally as well. Add to that the financial strain and uncertainty the entire country is facing at the moment. And well, you have yourself quite a ticking time bomb. Many are turning to mindfulness as one of those tools to help combat stress and fatigue as well, which happens around this time of the year. To tell us more about how mindfulness can help us is Lanesta Chavan. She's from the Vedanta Institute. Lanesta, good evening and Thank thanks very much for your time. Uh, a quick idea of what the Vedanta Institute is and what your teachings are. Yes, so Vedanta Institute is a non-profit organization that has been established to teach a philosophy called Vedanta. Mm. And uh, very briefly and basically, Vedanta is an ancient Indian philosophy that dates back over 5,000 years. The word Vedanta is actually a Sanskrit word, which means the end of knowledge. So it is a knowledge that helps us to answer fundamental questions of life, through an understanding of ourselves and our role in the world. And what we come to learn with the teaching is that we cannot manage our lives, we cannot manage the world unless we learn how to manage ourselves. And therefore Vedanta provides this path and this journey to self-development, to self-management, to self-mastery. And by traveling this path, what we find is a greater sense of peace, a greater sense of fulfillment, contentment internally. Now, I know uh, a lot of people who are at home watching now with their busy lives are going, oh, goodness, so where am I going to find the time? Does this involve sitting for hours, meditating, whatever it yes. is? So how do you teach people how to cope with life stresses, the stresses we face these days? Yes, so it's, it's just knowledge. What we teach is knowledge. We provide information and tools to help people in daily life because, like you say, yes. it's impractical for people to give up months of the year and meditate and study something in the ancient yes. mountains. And so this is something that we want to bring into people's homes, a, a knowledge that can help them to deal better with life. And like I just defined, what it speaks about, as you mentioned in your introduction, stress and strain and fatigue, and if you look at the world and, and what we face, generally we attribute our stress to the world, yeah. to the things that are happening. So I say, it is my partner that is causing me stress. It is my job, my, my, boss, work, yeah. my boss, my work pressure. I don't have enough time. You know, traffic, like you said, economic situations, yeah. depression. All of these things that are seen as the cause of stress. And so our problem in dealing with stress today is that we've not really located the source. So what this knowledge does is it helps us to find out what actually is stress, where is it found, and once you find the actual source, inherent in that is the solution. So our solution today is to change the things around us. Okay, so it's how you're dealing. The stresses are there, you find out where they are and how you can deal with that on your own and, how and, and use this on your own at home, this tool. Correct. What it says is that stress is a state of mind. Okay. Stress is not inherent in my spouse or in an object or an experience. I'll give you a brief example to make it easy for those at home. Yeah. We say one man, let's say, smokes a cigarette, picks up a cigarette and smokes that, and he gets joy out of smoking that. After an hour of not, he tastes that, he finds pleasure. Another man can't stand the sight of a cigarette. Yeah. So the very taste, smell, sight of it. Now, the cigarette is the same, but it's producing pleasure to one, pain to another. Mm. Another example, you say that my spouse, I can't deal with this person anymore. We, are, we don't get on, we've grown apart. He or she is causing me pain. So you decide to separate. Now, look at the situation. There is another man who is waiting very eagerly around the corner. What do you think he's waiting for? The, sp the spouse, the other person. The lady, the lady to, to yeah. court the lady. Now he thinks that she will give him pleasure. The lady is the same, but producing pain, sorrow to one, pleasure to another. Okay. And so in this analysis, what we conclude is that stress or peace is a state of mind. Okay. It actually has nothing to do with the world that you contact. Now I see here that uh, you, you also have courses that children can come to. What is it that, that, that you do for children? There are. So from the age of 13 onwards, what this philosophy does in managing the mind is it helps us to understand this tool that we have called the intellect. Mm -hmm. Now, the intellect is defined as the capacity to think, to reason, to judge, to analyze, and to govern our minds. Mm -hmm. And if you look at our minds today, it's causing havoc. Yeah. So the emotions of, of envy and jealousy and hatred and greed and... Chasing the dream. Chasing yeah, our desires, correct, without 
guidance. So what we do is we provide the knowledge and the tools to strengthen the intellect. From that early age. From the age of 13 onwards into adulthood. Now you are hosting uh, free workshops. Yes. Yeah, and I don't know how often you do that. Give us some, some details as to yes, so where these are. Yes, so there are constantly platforms of education offered. We have upcoming this month, very pertinent to the stress that we talk about, strength of emotion. How do we govern and control our emotions? Um, we have a course on relationships that's coming up also in September. And so these are constant events that are happening to make it practical for people to take home something yeah. to apply in their lives. Okay, very quickly for us, where will we find more information? You can find it on vedanta.org.za. Okay. Uh, and events.vedanta.org.za. Okay, well, I'm already feeling very calm having mm -hmm. spoken to you, Lenesta. Yeah. Thank you very much, Lenesta Chavan from the Vedanta Institute. Still